Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss about Primus portal as well as application process for DIT. If you are interested to study in Germany without tuition fee and looking for English taught programs for undergraduation as well as post graduation, then this video is going to be helpful for you. Please don't skip the video, watch till the end. If you find interesting, then please subscribe as well as leave a comment. So what can you expect from this video? I am going to explain the application process in a step by step with the help of university website that is a Primus portal. If you are thinking what is Primus portal is, Primus portal is an application platform where you can file your application and it is accessed by the university admission team. This platform works like a communication platform between you and admission team. And it is a very easy platform. You can apply for various universities too, not only for the Degenhoff Institute of Technology. I'll show while I'm applying. And by at the end, you will get to know whether you got the application in your desired course or not. Then we move to the application process. I would like to show with the screen. I will apply to the one master course and you can see how we have to apply. Uh, if you have any uh, doubts, you can text me in the comment box or else if you uh, get any doubts while applying, then please comment in the comment box. I'm happy to help you for you. Type in Google a TH Degendorf. Then it take to the Degendorf website. Here you can see home THD uh, start site at Degendorf. Click there and you can see the website. Apply now for your dream course. Apply now then we will enter into the application place here you can see the application deadlines and uh, language requirements for the course as well as uh, application information for germans as well as uh, international students and exchange students so and so click the international applications you will uh, go down and here you can see the whole application process as well as uh, application process checklist. Remember that checklist and deadline uh, documents I am going to give in the description. If you want, please download it. And if you click on the Primus portal, then you directly went to the Primus portal site. Here you can see login and password i hope if you are already registered for the uh, primus portal then you need not to register again if you have login details then directly you can enter into the application otherwise click uh, registration form here then here you have to fill your surname first name email id password so and so after registration you will get link to the your email id you have to click there and activate it then after come to this page again give your login details you will enter into the application process here you can see the registration for application application overview the first very first you will see here you select the course of study. It means uh, you have to select your desired course. It may be for, for masters as well as bachelors or else other courses also. Just you need to click on to the button for uh, making filters. Uh, if you want to apply for bachelor then click on the bachelor or else in the master click on the masters so and so 
for which semester would you like to apply means if you are unable to understand that I will tell you first semester means you are uh, applying for masters means that is going to be first semester. Some students use it to apply for the higher semester or else exchange semester so on so that students will click the higher semester. So, you are applying as a fresher so you have to click on the first semester. Then after filter masters or bachelors you will get all the courses click desired course and uh, do not forget to save to save then you will see here it is mentioned you have uh, registered uh, you are doing registration for artificial intelligence like I clicked here artificial intelligence so you can see artificial intelligence and then it is telling that this course is uh, going to be in English if you are applying for German course then you can see here German course then click further we will take to the another page here what can you see um, we have all already doing for uh, artificial intelligence and the paragraph meaning here is if before have you get admission before and you denied because of some reason so on so so if you have already done it then click yes if you have not yet did denied DIT application please click the no then save it this session is finished now then we will go to the personal data and educational background so on so we will click on the personal data here uh, you have to give your all your details name surname gender whatever they mentioned you have to give it and we have to save after this give every address correctly sometimes you may get some post after filling the address you have to save here and here people get confused little bit what to click so I will tell when comes to the health insurance please enter your health insurance details here if known insurance type statutory health insurance private health, health insurance I am an applicant from abroad and do not have any German health insurance some students uh, might applying from Germany because they used to come here uh, study some courses in another university and they want to move uh, this to the this university so that time them already have their uh, German health insurance so if it is statutory means public health insurance so if they have then they have to click statutory or else if they have private then they, they can click private uh, I guess you are applying from abroad I mean a non-German so you have to click I am an applicant from abroad I hope it is clear for you otherwise if you have already German insurance then please mention the details save it and here reachability means they might have sent some emails or else if they have some doubt they may call so please mention your email id and um, phone number please be reachable for them here uh, occasional training if you are already completed occasional training or uh, in training please indicate this here when it comes to the occasional training uh, if you have done any occasional training in your company please mention it 
there is no star mark here if you want to mention you can mention otherwise no need of it otherwise just click to the save button but this kind of thing may boost your application occasional training or some paper publication so on so when comes to the special request uh, if you have any uh, exceptional hardships because of a family reasons and um, some other health issues so on so then you have to click s yes, otherwise uh, just click no and save it then we will complete the session and uh, we have to move educational background when it comes to the higher education entrance qualification many students has doubt about this and uh, so i would like to tell you if you are having entrance test in like entrance test nothing but a, your bachelor's and your degrees so if you have done in germany just click general higher education entrance qualification if you did out of the germany then go for fourth option that is higher education entrance qualification acquired outside of germany if you have a uh, subject oriented a uh, subject restricted higher education then go for second and uh, that's it just save it then you will go to the another page here you have to give some more details transcript and uh, transcript dates and so on uh, here some students use it to apply when they are uh, at fourth semester in bachelors so some of them use it to apply after the bachelors so if you have transcripts already uh, then give the details otherwise also no problem uh, click the no they will ask for you to apply this transcript uh, within some other dates and all and just give the details here your grade your grade should be uh, according to the german's grade like check in the google how they calculate the grades and here number of semesters at a german student college uh, this is a uh, one kind of uh, study um, center if you were there before just mention the semesters if you not studied there just put zero and save it here we finished the educational background and then we need to go information about previous higher education details here if you already finished your degree in germany then give your details or uh, if you are from abroad then just give higher educational background outside the germany click the finish button then almost application is going to end now we need to give some more details here for this keep your cmm memo it will help you here you have to choose your program and your country as well as when it started and date how many semesters you have studied if you did um, like diploma and then btech means it will be six semesters if you did btech means um, 
after intermediate then it will be seven semester if there is no star mark means you can skip if you have uh, details then you can enter it just fill it out and here you can find ECTS in your CMM memo in the down how much you need to get out of how much just write it and save it then we'll go to the upload overview here you can see many documents like transcript, degrees, CV, language requirements, so on so. So just upload everything by the deadline. Uh, after this, you will finish this application. This application can viewed by admission team and you also. Please check regularly. You may miss some documents. Um, then you have to upload again and again and you have to contact with the admission team sometimes so if you have some other doubts please let me know in the comments and i'm ready to help you and uh, i'm not uploading these all documents because i need not to apply for this course anymore so that's it i'm going to give a deadline PDF and uh, a checklist in the description box and that's it thank you so much for watching my video if you uh, like please share someone and do comment we'll see you in the next video thank you bye bye